the medicinal challenge has been concluded. To summarize, I have spent 30 days consuming medafinil. Well, I set out to spend 30 days, but in reality, I spent a few less than that, as the supply of medafinil had fallen short, and I decided not to purchase any more because there was no need. The objective of the challenge was met. Over the course of the 30 days, I was able to fix my sleeping pattern from waking up at 9 a.m. or 7.30 a.m. prior to waking up at 5 or 6 a.m. every day during the course of the challenge. I was able to utilize my time effectively and maintain high levels of concentration and focus during the course of the challenge. I was able to spend a lot of time exercising both physically and mentally and also I was able to sleep on time and early and get a sufficient amount of sleep each night. The first few days of modafinil were very powerful and the effects of the drug were very potent. However, over time, within the first week, the effects, the subjective feelings began to diminish, the effect on sleep began to dissipate and the effects became unnoticeable. So much so that the transition from modafinil to non-modafinil days was smooth and easy and this alludes to the fact that there is no tolerance or dependence as I have shown in my research in my previous video and on my post where I have highlighted the studies on modafinil. I would summarize the challenge by saying that it was a beneficial experience and I really enjoyed trying this out. I was able to use the first few days very usefully and I was able to achieve a lot of good works and the tool of modafinil was used to enhance my lifestyle. However, the habits have now been set in place and the ball has been put in motion and there is no need to continue the usage of the drug. So I conclude the challenge and I do not intend on buying any more modafinil moving forward. Should I ever choose to experiment with it again i would actually go for something different as from my research it seems that the amphetamine class of drugs for this focus purpose of focus are more potent however they do come with more side effects but this will be the next challenge the next series of videos will be focusing on the one of the most interesting subjects and an interesting subject due to the timing of this matter. The month of Ramadan is coming, so many millions of people, if not billions, will be fasting across the world. And there has been a lot of interest in recent times with regards to intermittent fasting as a cognitive and a lifestyle enhancing factor. So I will be conducting deep dive research into this, highlighting the studies and what they show and we will conclude with that in the next few videos. To summarize, I do not advise anyone to take modafinil for the benefits that you seek can be found elsewhere. They can be found through the implementation of a good routine. See my video on increasing your dopamine levels naturally. However, if someone needs a push in the right direction, modafinil may be a useful tool and is relatively safe and with low side effects in order to achieve the desired effects. I will recap briefly the mechanisms and a few interesting points of contention with regards to the drug. Modafinil is thought to work by inhibiting the reuptake of dopamine in the central nervous system. So normally dopamine is released and the dopamine released from one neuron to the other is limited because the dopamine transporter takes that dopamine from the intermediary space back into the presynaptic neuron. However, the use of drugs such as modafinil, amphetamines like Adderall or Ritalin, which is not an amphetamine, but and also a ADHD drug, and even cocaine, they bind to the dopamine transporter and block the reuptake of dopamine, thereby increasing the concentration of dopamine in the pathways allowing more dopamine activation to occur and as a result you have more excitatory 
and energy. Excitatory activity, which results in energy, as dopamine is synergized with ephedrine, norepinephrine, and other neurotransmitters such as glutamate, and these will increase your energy levels. And the pathways associated with dopamine increase your ability to focus and concentrate and expend energy towards that which you desire. So, the way that modafinil works to increase both wakefulness and to increase your motivation, concentration and energy levels is through increasing your dopamine primarily and secondarily through increasing norepinephrine, increasing serotonin, decreasing GABA and increasing glutamate and also influencing orexin and histamine. Modafinil works for 12 to 15 hours and it, it, it kicks in within one to two hours. And this is very different compared to the other drugs which are used to increase focus and concentration as they have much quicker effects of action and the pharmacokinetics in, in, in indicate that they finish working a lot more quicker. So the effects wear off very quickly and this builds a big dopamine crash hence they are far more liable for addiction and abuse whereas modafinil has been shown in several studies not to cause or induce addiction or tolerance or withdrawal effects in fact i quoted a study in my last video of over 130 weeks where subjects did not show withdrawal or tolerance from modafinil there have been individual cases of people abusing modafinil. For example, we saw a man who took 2,000 milligrams of modafinil. And just for your information, the reference dose is 200 milligrams or 100 milligrams. And these cases were rare, but they were able to take him off without any serious side effects. Modafinil is also used and has been proven to enhance cognition in several studies. There's been pilots who have been working for over 48 hours who have shown enhanced cognition in several activities. They've tested it on physicians and they've tested it on ADHD implicated individuals who have also showed improved attention and decreased distractibility. One of the other mechanisms by which modafinil works through its downstream effects of the modulation of neurotransmitters is that it impacts the activation of certain neural circuits. So in ADHD, there are two neural circuits which are implicated. The um, default mode network and the activity or task oriented network. So the default mode network is what is active when you are not doing anything which requires your cognitive attention. And the task oriented network is what you will do or, act or activate when something requires your attention and will require your activity. So the transition from moving to a default mode network to the activity mode network on the response on the recipient on the receipt of a stimuli is implicated in people with ADHD. However, modafinil acts to improve the latency or decrease the latency by which one transitions from the act the default mode network to the active mode network and thereby it increases the ability of those individuals to focus and to maintain their attention and this is also the case for those who do not have adhd so you're able to better focus on your work and go from a state of relaxation or non-work to a state of work more effectively and also the subjective effects that you feel are that you enjoy the things that you do more because of the released dopamine so if you are looking to utilize modafinil to increase your output know that it is not a magic pill and it will not transform you from zero to hero overnight there is still the requirement for you to put in the work and for you to have the discipline to be able to achieve your goals i've been getting messages from people asking me that they're taking modafinil and they're not noticing any effects while to those people I say that modafinil is not a magic pill, it's not going to make you go from zero to hero. 
you still need to have the motivation and the desire to achieve your goals. Some tools to do this are make sure that you're waking up early with the sun and getting some sunlight into your eyes and having cold showers where possible early in the day and exercising early in the morning as this was all, this will all increase your dopamine levels and this will all set you up to have a good and productive day and once this baseline has been established then ensure that you are writing down your goals so that you know what you wish to achieve because the writing down of goals will help you to associate those pathways in your brain which will release dopamine and get you moving towards your goals. For if you do not have clarified goals and you do not have a clarified vision or purpose of what you wish to achieve in a day or an hour, then you will have no direction and there will be no switching from the dorsal mode, from the default mode network to the task oriented network. Therefore, it is critical that you set yourself some goals and you put in place the actions to achieve your goals. And this starts off with the time that you sleep and the time that you wake up. Because sleep is the cousin of death. And while you're asleep, you cannot do anything productive. And if you sleep through the early hours of the morning, then you're not aligned with the sun. And we are animals, human beings, but still animals in origin. And we are dependent on the sun for our circadian rhythms. So align yourself with the circadian rhythm of the sun wake up with the sun and sleep with the sun so that your system is aligned with the natural way that it should be and through this you will find many benefits which you seek from drugs this video is over 10 minutes now and i will conclude it i hope that you found this challenge beneficial there may be some more insights or details or i might put some more of my research into better quality video formats as i have done so with the written post which i will link in the description if you have any questions i will do my utmost to answer them but know that i cannot provide you sources of modafinil i wish i could however this is not legal you can only obtain modafinil if you have a prescription and with this i conclude the video i would suggest that if you wish you subscribe so that you may be informed when the next videos are coming out where we will discuss and explore other mechanisms to achieve what you desire to achieve from modafinil through these mechanisms and i believe by the will of god the next video will be about fasting so with that i conclude thank you for watching the neocortex over and out